All right, guys, welcome to session two. We're going to be working through a little bit more core stuff, shoulder strength and alignment stuff, trying to keep it as engaging and as fun as possible. But we've still got to tick those boxes. So on the floor, into that warm up, just rocking back and forth on those hands. Hey guys, welcome to week nine. We'll jump straight into the warm up. Just get the wrist a little bit loose. Same drill as always, just rocking back and forth. We're just gonna go five rocks. And then once you're done five, we're gonna hold on that last one for five seconds. We're gonna push through our right side and then push through a bit more through our left side. Right side and left side. Right side. One more and left side. Perfect. From there, we're just going to go into five humps and dumps. Press the floor away, squeeze abs, squeeze glutes. Should we just lock it together? Press the floor away, squeeze abs, squeeze glutes. Perfect stuff. Turn your fingers around to face your knees. And then from there, same drill, we're just gonna rock back. And catch walk. that. Could you try again? Really press here, hand into the floor. I didn't get that. Could you try again? And then hold on the fifth one again. Which should dominate left side, dominate with the right side. Push with the left side, push. Left side and push through your right side. Lovely stuff. And then back onto hands and knees again. Another five humps and dumps. Sure really push the floor away. Go away, Siri. Okay. Press the floor away, pump up, squeeze up, squeeze glutes. And then just from there, push into Dammer Dog. And all you need to do is take your right hand, touch your left shin. Left hand, touch right shin. Just 10 times each side. Really push with the hand that's on the floor and just reach with the hand that reaches. Take your time with it. You're just looking to get a bit of a stretch into your hamstring and a little bit of pressure through back of the arm, up into the shoulders. So last two. Okay, and first things first, we're gonna go 30 seconds of dish, 30 seconds of rest, 30 seconds of face the handstand, 30 seconds of rest. So that's a two minute block, we're going to run it five times in a row for a total of 10 minutes. It's going to get pretty hard. Always, always remember, if you need to come off the wall early, that's completely fine. Today, if you do want to come off the wall a little bit before 30 seconds, all I want you to try and do, if you've got enough time, just come into a gymnastic plank just to finish. So we're going to face the wall handstand for 30 seconds. If it's a bit too hard, you know, if it's like five seconds before the timer, come on down and chill. If it's like 15 seconds before the timer, come on down and just do your best to hold a gymnastic plank for the remainder of that 30 seconds. 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest, dish, rest, handstand, rest, dish, rest, handstand, rest, etc. Let's get into some work. So we're going to start in 10 seconds. Starting in our dish, again make sure toes next to the floor, arms up and overhead. If you want to go overhead, that's completely fine. All right, we're working. So reach your arms away from you. Whichever level of dish you want to go for is completely fine. I'm going to go tucked the whole way. If you want to go fully extended, you're very brave. So rib cage and hold as close together as we can make them. Three, two, one. 30 seconds rest. So 
So we're just focusing on really high quality here, as always. If you want a cartwheel into the wall, you can. If you want to walk up the wall, you can do that too. I'm going to show you a walk up first and a cartwheel second. So walk it up in five seconds, start in that plank, start heading up. Three, two, one. And just hold that position as close as you can hold comfortably. And then we're just going to stay there. Oh dear. Came down early. So into that gymnastic plank and hold there. And rest. So with a lot of these strength elements, um, it doesn't matter too much what positions we're in, uh, as in how close we are to the wall or how extended our legs are in those dishes. What matters is our, it matters that our position is great. It doesn't matter the difficulty is what I should say. So whether we're in a fully extended dish or we're tucked or we're in a extended arm plank or we are in a full face wall handstand, as long as you're working quite hard, you are ticking that box, which is all you need to do to make a few steps, or take one step, to improving. Always bear that in mind. It doesn't matter what other people are doing. As long as you're working quite hard, you know, not balls to the wall hard, but quite hard, you are absolutely doing your utmost to progress forward and be a bit better next time, which is what it's all about. Rest there. So always bear that in mind. We don't need to work super, super hard all of the time. I'm gonna cartwheel in now because it's a bit uncomfortable on my hands walking on these gravel bits. But you are obviously welcome to just do a standard walk up the wall, that's fine. All right, going again in five, three, two, one. Oh, whenever I do a face to a handstand, it always absolutely wrecks my quads. Everything just makes my quads bite normally. All right, perfect work, guys. That's two down, three to go. So back into that dish in five, four, three, two, one. Three, two, one, well done. All right. Fifteen seconds. And then another face to the handstand. Thinking glutes on, quads on, we're holding that nice line. Three, two, one. Oh gosh! <laughs> I should edit these bits out really, but I think it shows authenticity. <laughs> you 
you think it does show that when you're training, this is really me, this, this is training for me just as much as it is for you. 30 seconds of dish, 30 seconds of a face to wall handstand is always hard, <laughs> really, no matter how good you get at handstands. Um, we're working hard positions with not much rest. Off we go again. So, don't worry if it's not always really consistent. Just try quite hard and enjoy the process. And you will be able to do it forever. That should work. All right. Two more against the wall. Heading up in 10 seconds. Getting cut within this way. Three, two, one. Perfect stuff. Just one more round to go. Just try and fight through this round. And then all done for the day. All right, going back into that dish in 10 seconds. Three, two, one. In we get. Just really reach away, almost there now, last five seconds. That's all the dish holds done. And rest. Lovely stuff. All right, just 30 seconds left, guys. Remember, if it's a little bit too hard and you can't quite keep the quality, it's no problem to do a gymnastic plank instead of that face the wall plank, face the wall handstand. If you want to do a 90, a 45 degree handstand, they're a little bit harder, but again, it's completely fine. We're just looking to build that hollow, hollow position, five seconds, whilst we, three, two, one. Looking to build that hollow position, whilst we load our triceps and our shoulders. Give yourselves a pat on the back. That gets hard quick. Excellent work, guys. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching. If you want to do a little bit more of that, you are welcome to. But again, it's that real consistency of practice really regularly. So if we can do that session once or twice more this week before next week, you're in a great place. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you for week 10.